The amount of flex that's in the hockey stick has changed tremendously and allowed speeds to go from 90 miles an hour to over 100 miles an hour. How do they do that? A professional hockey player now flexes his stick and launches the puck into the air. So on a slap shot, a hockey player does not come down and just hit the puck. Instead, they hit the ice about a foot behind the puck, flexing their stick and bending it so that when they come through, they will launch it forward. Doing that, you can add an additional 20 miles per hour on your shot. <laughs> the great one once said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I'm here to make sure you don't miss the ones you do. When lining up for a wrist shot, keep your knees bent and shift your weight to your back leg. You want to keep your stick behind you with the puck on the heel of your stick. You want to roll the puck from heel to toe as you release the puck. All the power comes from the release. As you release the puck, you want to point your stick at the direction you want the puck to go. Now, watch your puck sail into the back of the net. Darren Elliott back here at Balfour Training Center at Little Caesars Arena. Joined again by Michael Rasmussen, Dennis Chalaski. This time, we're going to flip the role. We're going to talk about, Ras, your ability to tip pucks, establish presence at that net front, and we'll take through a couple of different things in terms of tipping and get it coming up with rebounds. Sounds Sound good? good? Sounds good. Okay, Chola, so this time it's Ras's turn, all right, to show a net front presence. So give him a little bit of resistance, but not full resistance. And, and take us through what, what you're trying to do in terms of establishing position to tip a puck. Yeah, biggest thing, like you said, is just body position. You got to get uh, in front of the goalie and then uh, get your stick free so you can get a, get a piece of it. Or um, Yeah, just get in front of the goalie is the biggest thing and then uh, get your stick free. Okay, so you know what we do, the broadcasters? We call it presenting the stick. So let's, let's take it through it. Let's walk through it, guys. Biggest thing is just uh, usually just try to bump the guy out of the way and then uh, make sure he's not tying your stick up and then get it free like over here for the shot. Oh, first take. Great in show, but that's it. You're trying to get body position on, on Try Joel. To bump he's trying him. to box out. And then you, you can lean. pop out. Is separation a key, or like you're trying to push off a little bit? Yeah, sometimes if the guy's got you tied up or something, if he's tying my stick up, you can just pop out. Or you can always come in, push off, come to the side. Or even if he does have your stick up, just put it on the ice and you can just get it. Yeah. Pretty good, I can see that's a battle and then I'm kind sure of it's basics. different for you, but yeah, you're, you're getting position, body position, stick position, and you're working in unison with the guy shooting the puck, trying to show the stick so you can get the deflection. Yeah, for sure. Okay, Ras, for the fans, what do you got for one tip? Uh, I think just the biggest thing is have fun, work hard, uh, be a good teammate. Hockey's about fun, so just have fun. It is about fun. Joel, what about you? Yeah, for all the kids out there, it's, it's fun for us to be able to come out here and do this, and um, hopefully they learn a little bit about how to play a two-on-one. Appreciate you guys doing this. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we slowed it down for you, gave you a couple of tips, things you can watch. Next time you're watching the Red Wings play, this was your crash course. I missed a part of the script. Dude, what if he's got a rock? <laughs> That's it? That's it. That's easy.